nature gods first, love God, serve God, and walk okay. with God. Okay. Be his light right. and okay. love. Okay, 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 okay. God is my father, yes, he's the king. I am the princess, so I'm royalty. P-R to the I-N-C, E to the double S. God is my father, yes, he's the king. I am the princess, so I'm royalty. And I'm with the princess from the life with the princess show, the voice of her generation. Yeah, baby. We are the Heather Hills Philanthropists, and we listen to Life with the Princess radio show, the voice of our generation. Hey everyone, it's me, Miracle Hashtag The Princess, and welcome to my radio show called Life of the Princess Radio, the voice of my generation. My show is about kids, and it's also for kids, and it's about giving God the glory. You can check me out on YouTube at Life of the Princess channel, on Instagram, and on Musical.ly at Life of the Princess. I want to start off with something I call a miracles moment. Practice makes perfect. So whenever you want to do in life, Practice as much as you can, and you'll get better. Now for some sad news. The city of Pittsburgh is reliving, reeling over the shooting death of 17-year-old Antoine Rose Jr. The unarmed teen was shot and killed by a police officer as the boy was running away. The incident was sparked days of protest from people calling for justice. Take a listen. Protesters stopped traffic tonight in Pittsburgh. They've been marching in the streets this week over the fatal police shooting of a 17-year-old boy. Jerika Duncan is in East Pittsburgh where the shooting took place. East Pittsburgh police say the officer involved in this controversial shooting of 17-year-old Antoine Rose Tuesday night is 30-year-old Michael Rosfeld. He previously was an officer in other departments before joining the East Pittsburgh force. He was sworn in less than two hours before the deadly encounter. It all started when Rose jumped out of a silver Chevrolet, which was suspected of being used in a drive-by shooting. 13 minutes later, Rose was shot three times by Officer Rosfeld and later died. Today, the district attorney confirmed Rose was unarmed, but did have an empty 9mm handgun clip in his pocket, and two handguns were found in the car. This morning, I spoke to Officer Rosfeld's attorney, Patrick Thomasy, by phone. He says his client is depressed and feels bad about what happened, and that it was his first time ever firing his weapon as a police officer. He just ran. It, that, that, running is not a death sentence. The video has sparked days of protests, many calling the shooting unjustified. A three decades old Supreme Court ruling does justify shooting a fleeing suspect if the officer reasonably believes that the individual poses a significant physical danger to the officer or others in the community. Rose's family attorney, Lee Merritt. They're going through. Uh, the highs and lows that I've seen that are common to this kind of, kind of um, situation, from disbelief to anger to determination to get justice. The officer is expected to be interviewed by the district attorney as soon as this evening. And Jeff, the attorney for the Rose family says they believe there is enough evidence to file charges against that officer. Okay, Jerika Duncan for us tonight in East Pittsburgh. Antoine Rose's death is just the latest in a string of unarmed black people killed by the police. We have to take a break, but when we'll come back, I'll have Miracle's message and Miracle's word of the day. I need to tell you this right now. Make sure God's first. Love God, serve God, and walk with God. Be in his light and love. Okay, 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 okay. God is my father. Yes, he's the king. I am the princess, so I'm royalty. P R to the I N C, E to the double S. God is my father, yes, he's the king. I am the princess, so I'm royalty. P R to the I N C, E to the double S. Okay, P R to the I N C, E 
double S. God is my father, I'm royalty. It's life with the princess. Okay, alright. Hey everybody, it's me, your girl Tamar Braxton, and I'm with the princess from the life with the princess show, the voice of her generation. Yeah, baby. We are the Heather Hills Philanthropist, and we listen to Life with the Princess Radio Show. The voice of our generation. Welcome back to Life with the Princess Radio Show, the voice of my generation. I'm your host, Miracle, hashtag uh, the princess. And now it's time for Miracle's foreign language lesson, where I introduce a new word or phrase in another language. Today's foreign language lesson is, is in French. Je t'aime means I love you. Repeat after me. Je t'aime. And now it's time for Miracle's musical moment. This week I played the fairy godmother in my school play, The Big Bad Musical. Here's just a sample of my performance. Take a listen.
That was the Big Bad Musical. And I want to give a shout out to Melissa G. Because she's on my YouTube live. And she played Miss Muffet. You can watch the whole entire play on my YouTube channel at Life with the Princess. Now for Miracle's Word of the Day. Miracle's Word of the Day is exalt. It means to praise. It also means to raise in rank. Honor, power, character, quality. To ex- elevate. elevate. We exalt God because he is worthy to be praised. Now it's time for Miracle's message. Today's message comes from Psalms verse 121 phrase 7 8 the lord will keep you from all harm he will watch over your life the lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore now it's time for the princess spills the tea check it out Girl, what do you want? I'm sleeping. I was gonna tell you some tea, but since you're sleeping, I'm wide awake, girl. Spill the tea. Spill all the tea. Hey guys, it's me, Miracle Hashtag the Princess, and let's get right into the Princess Spills the Tea. Now, first up, guys, Miranda Singh said she's probably gonna try to do a collab with Little Tay. As you know, what I was talking about before that Little Tay and her mom, her mom, actually was fired from her job because she did a weird commercial. Little T is a nine-year-old girl who thinks she's all rich and stuff and she curses and she's an extremely bad influence. Now the second one is that it looks like Jojo Siwa and Miranda Sings are not friends. Literally, there's an X between friendship for them. But I just saw a new video that might see that they're actually going to be friends. They were having an argument between the Kids' Choice Awards to see who's going to win. One for extremely talented, one for best funniest. And Jojo C was trying to explain to Miranda Sings that there could be two exact winners. One for most funniest and one for most talent. And it seems like Miranda Sings still doesn't get the point. It's because Jojo Siwa keeps on promoting for herself, but not for her. So she's getting upset. The thing is that you're so supposed to promote for yourself. You see this? This is my merch. Now, obviously, I have possibly one more. And this last one is also about Miranda Sings, but she has a different identity. Miranda Sings is not how you actually think she is. There's actually another side of her, and she's way more cooler. But it seems like she had to face her fears with her sister and her brother. Her fear is apple stickers. Well, fruit stickers. What? And her other fear is sitting on torn and ripped and leather seats that has crumbs on it. If she would never, if there was, she would just go sit somewhere else. I mean, like, I know some people are actually don't like that, but I will still sit there. That's it for the Princess Fills the Tea. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Musical.ly at Life with the Princess. Michael Jackson's father, Joe Jackson, has is reportedly battling terminal cancer. He's been battling it for some time, and it's the final stages. His wife, Catherine, is reportedly by his bedside. Let's keep the Jackson family lifted up in prayer because Michael Jackson died, as you know. In other tragic news, everybody at my school is talking about this. The rapper X Temptation was gunned down after leaving a motorcycle shop in Florida. Police arrested dead Rick Williams for his murder. And they're still looking for two other men who shot this poor dude. Meanwhile, the rapper's girlfriend is pregnant. Woo! His mother revealed that his girlfriend is in four months pregnant. And he knew about the happy news before he was killed. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Of course, Rose- Roseanne is Roseanne is out 
of job after she made racist tweets. Okay, people, stop being racist, you know, because, like, it, there's nothing wrong with the color of black and color of white, okay? Now, but her cast members have been given their own show, the spinoff called The Connors, has been given the green light for the fall lineup. And congratulations to Marzia Martin, who played Diane on the TV show Black ish she just landed a movie deal worth okay guys this is gonna be extremely large amount two hundred thousand dollars oh two hundred thousand dollars for her new film little she could also get an additional three hundred thousand dollars depending on how much the movie makes she's a lucky girl if they make a sequel she stands to another four hundred thousand um like i i want to be like i want to be like making films you know because I, I get the money so i'm gonna try to be working on that and it's up to six hundred thousand in bonus she's also listed as an executive director now that's what i call girl power and weird news Ugh. okay guys I'm, i literally almost threw up as i was trying to say this doctors removed a live parasite worm from a russian woman's face what was she was bitten by mosquitoes when she went to a rural area in russia afterwards she noticed a large bump on her face it started out below her eye then moved above her eye then to her upper lip my question is how is that even possible how do you even get a weird worm up your face if you don't even feel it or don't even see it but guys you just need to pray that you'll be safe wherever you go then it started to itch and burn oh i feel so bad for her it could have been worse doctors said the worm could travel up to a long distance in the body from the upper eye to the okay to the butt the butt why would the worm want to see all of that why would the worm want to be in that spot? You know, like, we all need our privacy, okay? <sighs> a live worm can live up to two, mm, okay, two years in the body if it isn't removed. Okay, so she is lucky that it was removed because she wouldn't have been living the life with the, t with the worm for two years. And the worm would be like, hey, like, hey, you know, you're, like, all up in my body and this hurts. Okay, so can you, like, like, get out? So... Guys, last night I had the most coolest, most kind of scariest dream, but I was the superhero. Okay, so it was kind of on a Saturday when I had to go to my radio show, but me and my mom were running late. Well, well they, we weren't really running late, but then my mom had like surprised me, even though we were supposed to go to the radio show to go like, I don't know, Disney World or something. And then we um, we went on this first ride. It was like a weird slide. And then I don't know why we would go on a slide. She said, I'm sorry, sweetie. It was like six o'clock or something. She was like, I'm sorry, but we're going to be late. I was like, we literally just got here. She's like, I, I just noticed. I was like, OK, all right. So then we slid down the slide and then we tried to go out then I left my phone somewhere, so she ran without me. I didn't even get to signal her that we're we're I need to lead. I need to get my phone. So then I got my phone, and I was for some reason, all of a sudden, my friend Malia, who literally turned ten, she was right beside me for some reason when I was trying to like check out and go to the parking lot. So I was looking for my mom, and I couldn't find her until these two dudes who were literally like twins. They were like, they saw my mom's car inside of a wall and Naraya was in the car with my mom. I don't know why, but then the lights turned off and the car disappeared. Now, it was extremely crazy. I could tell you more about this later on because it, it's, it's too long of a story and it's extremely crazy. Now... I want to give a shout out to Potomac High School in Oxon Hill, Maryland. 
they were kind enough to invite Life with the Princess earlier this month to speak at their career day. Yes, guys, I have a career and I get paid for it, which is what I'm doing now. I also want to say thank you to the Coffee with Mosea show on WINDC Radio for having me as a guest on the show. Bet you without me, they went ahead had an extremely cool show. Now, I will be the panelist of the Acting in the Industry 2 on July 21st at Trinity University at 125 Michigan Avenue in E. Washington, D.C. You will also get to meet Leah Daniels Butler, casting director for the hit TV show Empire and Star. You can also learn how to audition and break into the acting industry. Other entertainment industry professionals will be there too. Use discount code Life with the Princess to get a $30 ticket, and you could buy tickets at rdxfilms.com. That does it for my show today. For booking information or to be a guest on the show, email me at lifewiththeprincess at gmail.com. Thank you guys for listening to my show today called Life with the Princess Radio. You can check me out on YouTube at Life with the Princess channel, on Instagram, and musically at Life with the Princess. My radio show is on every second and fourth Saturday of the month from 1030 to 11 here on WOB 1010 AM Baltimore. Talk to you again July 14th. Okay, okay. God is my father. Yes, he's the king. I am the princess, so I'm royalty. The voice of her generation. Yeah, baby. We are the Heather Hills Philanthropists, and we listen to Life with the Princess radio show, the voice of our generation.